In this portion of the course, you will learn how to apply the theoretical knowledge you have, you have obtained so far in a practical context. And this will prepare you for the second half of the course, where you will tackle all sorts of philosophical arguments. So what exactly are we doing here? Well, imagine someone says we should implement policy X. Should we agree with them or not? Many people are able to speak and write very convincingly, but in order to know whether to agree with them, we need to ask them what's their argument for it. And once we have the argument, then we can analyze it uh, by using the skills you already have, by asking, for example, is it valid? And if it's valid, uh, whether it's sound and so on. The problem is that uh, when people are asked to provide support for the position, they often go on and on and on. And unfortunately, a, a 1000 word essay is not as easy to analyze as a three premise argument. So what we need to do is to be able to reconstruct fairly and accurately what they have said in order to uh, analyze it better. But in order to do that, we need to understand what they are saying and what the crucial points in, in their text are. Um, often, uh, in order to preserve the complexity of what was said, we will end up with smaller arguments nested inside larger arguments, each requiring their own analysis. The best way to learn how to do this is by practice. So this is why in this portion of the course over the next two weeks, we will be looking at lots and lots of examples, trying to figure out what the arguments are and whether they are any good. Because philosophers are not the only ones who are interested in reconstructing and evaluating arguments, this portion of the course will also include contributions from lawyers, journalists and political commentators.